the inside of the Mayer Museum of Art at Randolph College. I'm Laura McManus, the Curator of Education. Outside, we have an installation called Yarning for Unity. It's a temporary installation that will be on view through the end of the year, weather permitting. Yarning for Unity was created by a group of artists and crafters interested in social justice issues. They're interested in spreading love, unity, and joy in the world today when we need it with all the divisiveness. There are crocheted elements, printed elements, knitted elements, just about everything you can think of that involves yarn. That's what we have on view outside in Yarning for Unity. This exhibition was developed by a Randolph College student, Emily Bryant. Emily is a junior and she is studying art history and museum and heritage studies. While taking an art history class called Art and Activism, Emily was studying Craftivism, which is a form of art in which you kind of take craft and activism and smash them together. And it's artists who are using traditional craft forms that usually involve yarn or some kind of fibers. And using the art as a vehicle for spreading messages or for um, advocating for issues that are important to them. And so during this time of the pandemic, when so many artists are yearning for community and so many individuals are feeling separated, Emily thought that this installation would help bring people together, not only the crafters and the artists who created work, but also for the community, our community to be able to come and visit the installation in a safe way. For those that don't want to come inside a building, they can uh, enjoy the installation outside. Part of the installation includes an interactive component in which we've invited visitors to write messages on ribbon and then tie the ribbon to a tapestry wall. And what's really great about it is uh, we're up on a hill, so it's quite windy, and the ribbons are constantly blowing in the wind. Another community engagement element of Yarning for Unity is that we've created craftivism kits. And in front of me are uh, elements, materials that are part of the free craftivism kits. We're inviting visitors to take home a kit and use the materials to create a weaving. The weaving can then be installed in the visitor's home or in their yard or out in the community. And we're asking that the weaving include some sort of message, either of love, unity, hope, or something else that they're interested in and they find important. And then we're asking people to tag us on social media so that we can see the messages that have been shared in the Lynchburg area. So what is craftivism? Craftivism is when you take craft plus activism, put them together and you get craftivism. You can use more than your voice to advocate for ideas and issues that are important to you. You can use your creativity. Craftivists make things by hand in order to raise awareness, foster conversation, and build a caring and just community. Sometimes craftivists work alone, and sometimes they create together. Yarning for Unity crafters were asked, what is your message of love, hope, or unity? Some responded with stitched and crocheted words. Some made printed symbols. Some made statements with color and texture. What messages do you want to share? What's important to you? Carol Riley comes from North Carolina, and this is her message. In this crazy time we find ourselves in with social distancing and not being able to be close to our friends and family, I created hands to bring to people messages of welcoming, caring, healing, and connection. The physical touches we are missing these days as we navigate through this pandemic. Sarah and Ashley from North Carolina share an African proverb. If everyone helps to hold up the sky, then one person does not become tired. 
This African proverb inspires a sense of unity and cooperation. This is something that they hope for the world. Together we can do great things. Divided we can only hurt each other. Pamela from Lynchburg. Good it is to receive peace from the world. Better it is to give peace to the world. Best, by far the best, it is to become the peace of the world. Kathy and Barb from Lynchburg share a quote from John Lewis. Do not get lost in a sea of despair. Be hopeful, be optimistic. Never ever be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble. They say, keep pushing, get involved, and do something about it, and teach your kids the same. Beth from North Carolina. You are loved, and you are capable of love in word and action. With love and hope and cooperation, people can accomplish so much to support humankind and nature. I used stitches in groups of four to represent the four cardinal directions and 18 for life. Keith from Minnesota. Tradition tells us that a friendship bracelet grants the wearer a wish. And should it fall off naturally, the wish is granted. These three oversized bracelets each represent a possible wish for the community. What do you wish for?